Hi, I'm Mike from Bonsbach Easy Lift of North America. I will now show you how to assemble an Easy Motion system with a controller S1 and two cylinders. This is the power supply, the controller, electric motor, pump, hydraulic lines, and cylinders. The first thing you want to do is attach the controller to your application and your cylinders. The second most important thing is to ensure an on-axis connection between the pump and electric motor. So we'll now mount the electric motor to our application and you're going to want to attach the gears and make sure that the pump remains level. We use spacers to ensure an on-axis connection. I'll install the spacers. And bolts. And a spacer on the back side of the pump as well. Now I'll apply the washers and the nuts to the underside of the application. Okay, now that the electric motor and the pump is mounted to the application, we can start to make our electrical connections. Now remember, before making any electrical connections, you want to make sure that the power cord is not plugged in to avoid any accidents. We can now make the connections between the controller and the back side of the electric motor by installing these two connectors. Once the connectors are in, we can run the power cord from the controller to the power supply. Okay, now that the system is completely assembled, we can plug the system in and test out the cylinders. You can use the two buttons on the controller to move the cylinders up or down. And for a more basic setup, we also offer the Easy Motion system with a hand crank. I'm Mike from Bonsbach Easy Lift of North America, and that's how you assemble an Easy Motion system.